In the vast cosmic theater, a new drama is unfolding, not just a contest of nations, but a collision of philosophies and ambitions that will shape the future of humanity in space. The stakes are higher than ever, as the next era of exploration is being written not only by governments, but by private visionaries and bold new players. On one side stands SpaceX, a company that has redefined what's possible in rocketry through relentless innovation, daring engineering, and a willingness to risk everything for progress. On the other side, China's rapidly growing commercial sector with companies like ArcT is building rockets that look strikingly familiar, echoes of SpaceX's designs, but with their own ambitions and resources fueling the race. This isn't just a race to orbit, it's a test of two mindsets, original innovation versus strategic imitation. The main players in this unfolding saga are about to take center stage. SpaceX's Raptor engine and Starship, the most powerful and ambitious rocket system ever built, versus China's Mammoth One and Glacier One, which aim to match and even surpass their American counterparts. China's approach is clear. Leapfrog years of research and development by closely studying and adapting proven designs, hoping to accelerate their own progress. But a rocket is more than its shape or blueprints. It's the sum of countless lessons learned from both spectacular triumphs and devastating failures. Every launch, every setback, every breakthrough adds to the collective knowledge. SpaceX's philosophy is built around reusability, landing and reusing boosters to slash costs, increase launch cadence, and open space to new possibilities that were once the realm of science fiction. China is racing to replicate this feat, but building a rocket that looks reusable is only the beginning. True mastery comes from perfecting the technology, the process, and the mindset behind it. As of September 2025, SpaceX continues to push boundaries with Starship, embracing risk and failure as essential steps toward progress, while China's commercial sector makes impressive strides of its own, determined to catch up and compete on the world stage. The question remains, can imitation ever truly catch up to relentless first-hand innovation, or will the gap only widen as the lessons of experience accumulate? In space, there are no shortcuts, only the hard-earned rewards of vision, persistence, and the courage to try what's never been done before. Every great rocket is defined by its engine. The heart of any launch vehicle, the engine determines how far, how fast, and how reliably a spacecraft can travel. It's the difference between reaching orbit and falling short. For Starship, that's the Raptor, a revolutionary engine designed to power humanity's next leap into space. The Raptor's journey began with Raptor 1, complex, powerful, and prone to failure. Early prototypes pushed the limits of engineering but also revealed countless flaws. Each explosion was a lesson, feeding directly into the next design. Every setback was a stepping stone, not a dead end. Raptor 2 emerged, simpler, cheaper, more reliable, and easier to mass-produce. It was a leap forward shaped by hard-won experience and relentless iteration. This evolution was driven by hands-on testing, not just computer models. Real-world trials exposed weaknesses and inspired creative solutions. Now Raptor 3 pushes performance even further with a design honed by thousands of hours of real-world trials. It's the most advanced version yet, built for the future of interplanetary travel. The Raptor's full-flow staged combustion cycle, burning methane and oxygen, was a dream for decades, realized at scale by SpaceX. This technology delivers unmatched efficiency and power. Their secret? Embracing rapid iteration, learning from every test and improving relentlessly. Failure isn't feared, it's embraced as a vital part of progress. SpaceX's approach, build, fly, break and learn, moves faster than anyone else. This cycle of innovation is what sets them apart in the world of rocketry. The result isn't just an engine, but a culture of innovation forged in fire. Every test, every challenge, strengthens the team and the technology. Raptor 3 is the physical embodiment of experience, not just engineering. It's a testament to what's possible when vision meets determination. It's a lesson. True progress comes from doing, not just designing. The workshop, not the whiteboard, is where breakthroughs are made. In rocketry, experience is everything. And with Raptor, SpaceX is writing the next chapter in the story of space exploration. Now let's look at China's Star Shuttle technology. The Mammoth 1 engine is a near clone of SpaceX's Raptor, same combustion cycle, same propellant, similar design. Glacier 1, powered by Mammoth engines, borrows heavily from Falcon 9 and Starship, even echoing Blue Origin's new Glenn. The goal, create a reusable heavy-lift rocket by copying the best. But copying specs isn't the same as understanding the why behind every choice. 
SpaceX's designs are solutions to hard-won problems, not just blueprints. A copycat inherits answers, but not the questions or the journey. Without the foundation of iterative development, the risk is building a machine that looks right but lacks resilience. It's like rearranging notes of a symphony without knowing music theory. The result may look similar but it won't play the same tune. Place SpaceX's rockets, Falcon 9 and Starship, on the launch pad, and you're looking at the cutting edge of American rocketry. Now, set China's glacier one beside them, and the contrast in design philosophy becomes immediately clear. These rockets aren't just different in appearance, they represent two distinct visions for the future of space travel. SpaceX's Falcon 9 is a proven, reusable workhorse. Landing and relaunching boosters is now almost routine, a feat that was once thought impossible. Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, is designed to push boundaries even further. Its goal is full reusability, and the ability to carry humans and cargo to Mars and beyond, making interplanetary travel a real possibility. Every test flight, whether it ends in success or fiery failure, is a step forward, each one teaching SpaceX something new. China's Glacier One tries to blend Falcon 9's reusability with Starship's massive scale, hoping to leapfrog years of development, but combining features from two different systems is a complex challenge, not just a matter of copying what works. The risk is ending up with a jack-of-all-trades but a master of none, lacking the reliability or innovation of its inspirations. SpaceX's reusability is proven. Hundreds of landings, countless lessons learned, and a culture built on iteration. For Glacier One, reusability is still just a blueprint, an ambition on paper rather than a reality in the field. They have the designs and the simulations but not the operational experience that comes from repeated launches and landings. Reusability isn't a feature you can simply bolt on at the last minute, it's a capability earned through relentless practice, trial and error, over years of hard work. SpaceX's mastery comes from constant iteration, learning from every launch and letting data, not imitation, drive progress. Glacier the 1st of May look impressive on the outside, but it hasn't yet proven itself through repeated, real-world missions. In rocketry, the gap between theory and practice is measured in explosions, setbacks, and hard-won successes. Only through experience, perseverance, and learning from failure can ambition be transformed into reality, and that's where SpaceX currently leads. A copy is only as good as the copier's understanding. Glacier One's design reveals gaps like an overly slender second stage risking instability and grid fins placed for looks, not function. SpaceX's grid fins are the product of endless testing. Glacier One's may not steer as needed for safe landings. These aren't minor details. Rocketry is won or lost in the subtleties. Imitation without comprehension leads to hidden flaws. Every curve and component in SpaceX's rocket solves a real problem. Copying the shape without the story behind it misses the point. Reliable reusability demands deep, intuitive knowledge, something you can't reverse engineer. In space, performance, not appearance, decides who wins. SpaceX's true edge isn't money or leadership, it's experience. Every launch, landing, and explosion has built a vast library of practical knowledge. This wisdom can't be found in textbooks or copied from hardware. It's the collective memory of engineers who've solved real problems, flight after flight. Falcon 9's landings are now routine, but only after countless failures and refinements. Each setback was a lesson, each success, a step forward. This culture of rapid iteration and fearless testing is impossible to copy overnight. Starship's recent failures are data points, not defeats. SpaceX thrives by learning faster than anyone else. Imitation skips the journey, missing the deep learning that comes from struggle, when things go wrong in space, it's experience, not blueprints, that saves the mission. The future of space belongs to innovators, not imitators. China's achievements are real, but copying SpaceX's rockets exposes a weakness, skipping the hard work of learning. The Mammoth One and Glacier the First of May look impressive, but lack the soul forged by trial and error. China's national program excels, but direct imitation is a shortcut to a dead end. SpaceX's lead is built on a process of constant learning and fearless iteration. Their failures are proof of ambition, not weakness. True innovation means solving problems no one's faced before. The cosmos is unforgiving, only deep understanding survives. SpaceX leads not by perfection but by relentless discovery. The race to the stars will be won by those who draw their own maps and learn from every step into the unknown.